Hello. Today we'll be reading Jenny Jumping by Andrea Rowe and illustrated by Hannah Somerville. If we have a look at the front cover, we can see lots of children jumping off Jenny. We've got someone over here making a big splash in the sea. And up here, this little boy looks like he's flying into the water. And if we have a look at the blurb, it tells us a little bit about the story. It says, While Miller's friends take big brave jumps off the jetty, Miller stays on the blistering wood, scared of what lurks below. But when Miller accidentally falls off the edge, she discovers the beauty of the deep, dark sea. And her summer changes forever. Hmm. I wonder if we have all of these children jumping. I wonder if that means this child here who's sitting down, if that's Miller. Hmm. Let's get reading and find out. Jenny Jumping, written by Andrea Rowe and illustrated by Hannah Somerville. In Miller's town, where the sun kisses the waves and the sand tickles your toes, there is a jetty. Every day, Mila and her friends play under and around and on the jetty. On weekends, they go jetty jumping. Big, brave jumps from the jetty into the deep blue of the sea. Splash! Bonnie twirls, Clementine dives, Matilda horsies, Clancy corkscrews. But not Miller. Miller dangles her legs, bites on her lip, and twists her bracelet out on the end of the towering jetty. Jump! her friends yell. Jump! Miller does not jump. Clementine pin drops, Bonnie torpedoes, Clancy belly wax, and Matilda walks the plank. Miller clutches the edge. Jump! Jump! Miller doesn't want to jump. There are dark shadows down there. There are mysterious ripples. There is scary seaweed. There are things that move. Miller does not want to leave the jetty. Clancy backflips, Matilda cartwheels, Bonnie starfishes, and Clementine teapots. Miller hides in her towel on the edge of the jetty. Her friends swim out further, diamond drops of water in their hair, toothy grins on their salty, freckled faces. Jump! 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 Miller pulls at her bracelet and wishes she were braver. The jetty is blistering. Wood splinters prick Miller's legs. It smells a little of dried fish and seagull poo. It's kind of lonely. It's quiet. It's hot. Miller watches Clancy twist and turn under and around Clementine like a silky seal. She reaches down to touch the glistening surface. Murky shapes drift below. Miller's bracelet falls from her wrist, gliding and sliding into the water. Oh, oh no! It glints and blinks as it floats and falls. Floats and falls. Miller grabs. Miller tumbles. Down she plunges, down past the jetty's edge. 
past the pylons with clutching barnacles, past the wavy seaweed, bubbles streaming from her nose, glinting fish darting through her toes. She squints, she blinks, there, there it is. Her bracelet dances and darts on the current, shiny, sparkling and waiting to be saved. Her feet touch the bottom, her hands reach for her treasure. Then back up again, back up again, a jet blast to burst through the water. Miller gasps, Miller coughs, you jumped. Miller laughs, her bracelet in her hand, the cool water fizzing and tingling, her friends duck diving around her. Out at the end of the jetty, Clementine crazy spins, Bonnie bombs, Matilda flips and Clancy somersaults, and Miller? Miller jumps! Miller jumps! Miller jumps! The end. Thanks for reading Jenny Jumping with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.